What is up, Jamily? This is Jamira Fan 2000 here with yet another episode of Jamira Fan Talks about my series where I talk about the past, present, and future of Jamira Kwai's music from the last 25 years and counting. I hope you all enjoy the last episode of Jamira Fan Talks about. I know it's been a while since I've done an episode, but I thought it was a pertinent time to do an episode talking about where we stood in the state of these leftover tracks that Jamira Kwai was supposed to be putting out early or middle part of this year. But um, given the circumstances, uh, we all know that Jamira Kwai just finished up their uh, summer. European tour for 2018 in, at the Why Not Festival in Derbyshire, UK, but it turned out that Jamiroquai ended up having to cancel yet another gig mid-performance. Now, you might you might remember from a previous Jamiroquai Minute episode that uh, this is not the first time during this tour uh, that Jamiroquai have either canceled a gig or had to reschedule a gig. Uh, we remember back in November of 2017 when Jamiroquai was playing the Olympihalle in uh, Germany, Munich, Germany, uh, what happened is JK lost his voice in mid-performance and the, the band ultimately had to abandon that gig but they did reschedule it for early 2018 were able to um you know, appease that tour date. But at the Why Not Festival over the weekend on July 29th in Derbyshire, UK, we all know that global warming is really a real phenomenon here in the world, here on planet Earth. And a lot of music festivals recently have had to cancel, artists have had to cancel their performances due to very, very violent and clement weather. And that was the case at the uh, Why Not Festival, at least for that day that Jamiroquai was performing. Um... Jamiroquai got about 45 minutes into their set at the Why Not Festival, but due to high winds and torrential downpours, uh, they only got performed about seven songs based off fan reports that I've read on social media, and they ultimately decided to stop. Well, originally, the, the band got about seven songs in, and the Why Not people just um, asked the band to stop playing because the weather was so bad so the band left the stage they did a performance stoppage and the why not uh, crew was basically waiting to see if the weather would clear up but ultimately the weather got worse and um, so Jamiroquai ended up uh, deciding not to finish their performance at the Why Not Festival. Um, there was a tweet that came out from Derek McKenzie apologizing for Jamiroquai's uh, mid-performance stoppage. But he said that the, um, the Why Not Festival crew people basically were saying that the winds were so powerful that it was blowing the amplifiers and the sound of recording equipment on the stage creating a very, uh, very dangerous environment for the band to perform. But uh, there have been a few social media reports that have popped out, or at least social media blurbs, you might say, that have popped out that some fans at the Why Not Festival were being very unsavory, very malcontentive, and very mean to the band upon hearing the news that the band was canceling their performance at the Why Not Festival so early into their set. Um, and I've seen a few uh, discussions on, on Facebook book pop up about this discussion about the Why Not Festival, but uh, the band have not quoted or commented about these little bits of hearsay about a few fans, but uh, the consensus is that a few fans, as they call them in the UK, punters, uh, these are fans that go to gigs, and if a, gang, a gig stops abruptly, or a gig ends, or a, a band just decides to just up up and leave the stage uh there are a few people that are known um in the british live performance scene to cause a ruckus and throw stuff at the stage well there were a few reports that uh when jamiroquai decided not to finish a performance at why not that some fans in the front row some of these punters as i uh pointed out threw stuff at the band as they left the stage or at the stage crew as they were clearing up the stage uh upon the performance being canceled but i have not seen any evidence to the contrary i have seen a few stray videos on social media from the performance. I did see some video from Instagram and I'll be sure to put that in the description of this video down below so you can see it for yourself. But uh, there have been a few stray videos from the gig and the weather looked horrendous. It was the, the high winds, torrential downpour. So for this is not... Jamiroquai is, per, is used to performing in inclement weather, but uh, in this case it was so torrential and so bad that they ultimately had, had to cancel their gig. So I thought I recorded Jamiroquai Fan Talks about to discuss this whole thing but uh you know if um if there's more of a consensus in this whole topic about the punters and the people at the jamiric white gig that actually had thrown stuff at the band i will be sure to notify the band on social media and ask for their clarification or their confirmation or their side of this story but it's not of a significant level of needing to bother the band with this but uh yeah it was it sucks that 
Jamiric why sometimes have to abandon gigs, but you know, when circumstances arise that negate them from finishing the performance, Jamiric why will be stopping some gigs or abandoning some gigs here and there, be it JK's voice or be it absolute hurricane like weather. Um, I will, I did start a, fu a summary, um, not a summary. I did uh, post some videos from the Why Not Festival on the Jamiric Y subreddit, so I'll be sure to put those in the description of the video down below, as I mentioned. And uh, as always, this is Jamiric Fan 2000. I'll see you again really soon with another Jamiric Fan talks about, hopefully, of a topicality that requires it, and more Jamiric Y minute and Jamiric Y related videos here on the Jamiric Fan 2000 YouTube channel. Bye, everybody, and have a great weekend.